Right, this is a lecture on number theory, and it's on the sums of squares, so numbers that are summed together with two, three, or four square numbers. Right, we've got lots of definitions, but they're all useful for the example that I've got coming up. So, if we have a prime number, then other than the prime number two, it's a sum of two squares if it's equivalent to one mod four. So we can see the cases zero and two, they're not really needed because you don't really get you, you don't get any even numbers other than two, even primes other than two. One and three is all that's left, but you can't get three by adding two square numbers because you'll only get uh, one, two and we'll get the zero mod four as well. So we can't get three, so it's only going to be the one. Right. A number is, uh, any, any number now, not just the prime number, is the sum of two squares if any of the prime factors, if there are any, any prime factors of the form 4k plus 3, if they occur to an even power. If there aren't any prime numbers of the form 4k plus 3, then it will be expressed as the sum of two squares, because you can just imagine that is the power 0, which we're using as even. Right, for the sum of three squares, if we have our number and it's equivalent to seven mod eight, then it is not the sum of three squares. That's the only case we've got, because you can't get seven using three squares. You can get one, because you've got one plus zero plus zero, all, all of those squared. Uh, you can get two, because you get one squared plus one squared. Three, you get one squared plus one squared plus one squared. Four, you've got the two squared. Five, you've got... Uh, 2 squared plus 1 squared, 6 you've got 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, 7 you can't get, and 0 or 8, whatever you want to call it, you can get anyway with just zeros. Right, and this here, this next one, is of a similar form to this one, because we've got 7 mod 8, which is the 8k plus 7 part here, but they just times it by 4 to the m, and they're saying that it's a sum of 3 squares if it is not of this form. So if we got them of this form or that form, then they are not the sum of three squares. Uh, now we get to the highest form, uh, sum of four squares. Every integer is written as the sum of four squares, every one of them. And if we have uh, two integers, m and n, and if they're of the form two or four, not separate, I don't know about separate actually, but if they're both of the same form of two squares or four squares, then so is their product. And the fours, because they're all all of the four anyway, that should make sense. Right, now we've got a method, this is method by example. I couldn't think of a, a way to write it out as a method, so I thought best way to do it is an example. First thing, we've got our number, which is here, which is a, a birthday, that's what I know. Uh, this is expressed, we want this expressed at the sum of four squares. Now first we want to check if it is actually a square number. So we square root it and we get about uh, 1068 squared. So if we just see what difference this is, if we were letting big n equal this number here, if we see what difference it is, then we've got the differences about here. Now we've got our first square, we want to see if this is the product of three squares. Now if it is, if it isn't I mean, then it means that if we modulo it by eight then we'll get seven, but we get five which means it will be expressed as the sum of three squares. So we've already got it right down, already haven't we, from the millions to 1365. Now what we want to do is we want to do the exact same again, square root it, see if it is a square number, which it isn't. So it's about 36 squared. So now we subtract this from here and we get 69. Now we want to see if 69 can be expressed as the sum of two squares. And this means if there are any if it's prime, then it has to be equivalent to 1 mod 4. If it isn't prime, then the factorization, any primes, the prime factorization, any primes that are of the form 3 mod 4, or 4k plus 3, whatever you want to call it, they must be to an even power. And we've got the 69, this is actually 3 times 23. If you don't know how to find the prime factorization, uh, you find that you square root of the number and you check all the primes less than the square root. 
that's a whole section cleared in a sentence. Uh, we've got 3, this is 3 mod 4, and it's to the power 1, and same with the 23 as well. So, so this is not expressible as the sum of two squares. So now we just go to the next one. We know what this is, so we go to 35 now. We get 140. 140 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. 7 is, now this one's 1 mod 4, which is fine. We can have 1 mod 4s. This one's 3 mod 4. And this is to the power, uh, this power 1 again, so we don't want that. That one cannot be expressed. Again, it's the same again. We're going down one each time. We get 209. This is 11 times 19. Um, again, you just square root, so I think you get 14 here. You can check all the prime numbers less than 14. And it went to 11 times 19. Both 11 and 19, they're 3 mod 4, but they're to the power 1 each of them, so we don't want them. Once again, it's the exact same again with 33, and it seems like we're not actually getting anywhere, but we are. We're checking all these numbers, and we're, we're getting closer to our squares. But we can see this is here, 3 and 23, they're 3 mod 4 to the power 1. The 2 doesn't really matter. Next one, exact same again. So we get 11, uh, has anything happened? 11 and 31, the, that one's, yeah, they're both 3 mod 4, so we try another one, got uh, minus 31, so we 404, this is 2 times 2 times 101. Now 101, this is a prime number, as they all are, but this is 1 mod 4, we've got no 3 mod 4s, so we've got nothing that needs to be to the an even power, so the 101, since this is 1 mod 4, this is fine. So we found our number that we want here. So this is going to be our, our second square. So now we want to check this one. So again, we should start off by square rooting it. Some of you might be able to see what it is already. And we get about 20. So we do this, 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 minus the 20 squared. Gives us 4, which we know is 2 squared. Or you could just square root it again. It gives you 2 squared. So... Now what have we got? Now we've got our solution. So we've got our 1068 squared, 31 squared, 20 squared, and 2 squared. And if you add them all together, then you will get 1,141,989, which is my girlfriend's birthday. I hope you enjoyed that.